Hi everyone, today we're going to learn three simple arpeggios that are very useful in any major or minor key. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to teach a small etude that makes it easier to memorize these arpeggios. If you'd like to support my channel through Patreon, I just opened my page there and you can do that at patreon.com forward slash Paul Warren Music. There you'll find all sorts of goodies like downloadable tablatures for my videos, as well as backing tracks and access to private lessons. These arpeggios that we're going to work on are going to cover three strings and we're going to do a little bit of sweeping to make them happen quicker. For those of you who don't know, sweeping is when you take the pick and you push it through strings as opposed to picking each individual string like this. So I'm just pushing the pick down and lifting my fingers off of the notes as I go so they don't ring together like this. You can sweep the opposite direction too where I'm pulling the pick through the strings like this. But the pick's going the same direction the entire time. Don't worry, we're not going to do any huge sweeps like... I'm not the greatest at those big sweeps anyways, but what we're doing today is much more simple. It's only going to cover three strings. Let's begin with the first chord. In this instance, it's going to be C major. Now C contains three notes, C, E, and G. C is the first, E is the third, and G is the fifth. The arpeggio we're going to play begins on the fifth of the chord. In this case, it's the 15th note of the first string. I'm going to play it with a downstroke, pull it away to the 12th fret, which is the E, and then go down to the second string with an upstroke and play the 13th fret, and then go down to the third string, 12th fret, with another upstroke. So we play that slowly again. Down, pull away, up, up. One more time. Down. Pull away, up, up. You could alternate pick these, but the way we are playing them makes it easier to get through the notes quicker. And you probably notice the sweep is only going one direction. It's not going back up. The second arpeggio is going to be a minor arpeggio, and in this case, D minor, since we're staying in the key of C. We're going to go to the 17th fret of the E string and play the fifth of the chord, which is in this case is an A. I'm going to pick it and pull it away down to the F, which is the third of the chord, and then an upstroke on the second string, 15th fret. That's the root of the chord, and then down to the 14th fret of the third string with another upstroke. Here it is again. With those two arpeggio shapes, you can play six of the chords that are in the key. The final chord occurs on the seventh tone of a major key, and that is the diminished. Let's go to the 13th fret of the first string and do a downstroke. Pull it away to the 10th, down to the 12th of the next string with an upstroke, and then down to the 10th of the third string with an upstroke. So this is a diminished arpeggio. The use of these arpeggios becomes very apparent when you're soloing and you want to sound in harmony with the chord that is going by. If a C chord is being played, I can go to my C arpeggio and not only play the arpeggio, but play some of the notes around it in the C major scale. Now let's learn that short etude I was referencing earlier. When you learn something in the context of a piece of music, it stays with you longer. So I always tell students, you want to make sure to practice techniques that are in songs that you enjoy. You will always memorize them quicker, and you'll get those techniques down quicker than just practicing them to a metronome. We're going to begin up on the F major arpeggio, which in this case is the 20th fret, and I'm going to play a major arpeggio right there. Then I'm going to drop down to the 17th fret and play my D minor arpeggio. I'm going to move back up and now play the E minor arpeggio. Drop down to the C major arpeggio. Starts on the 15th fret.
Back up to my D minor, starting on the 17th fret. Here's the diminished arpeggio, starting on the 13th fret. Then back up to the C major arpeggio. I played all of those arpeggios twice so you could hear them and see them better, but in the song, we only played them once each. Here's what it sounds like. During the etude, I simply skipped over chords in the key and stair-stepped my way down. So that's why it sounded a little more interesting to the ear than if I had just played F, E minor, D minor, C, and so on and so forth. Skipping around like that with arpeggios tends to make it a little bit more interesting. If you have any questions or comments about how these arpeggios are executed or utilized, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to respond. If you would like to download a tab of the etude that we learned today, I'm going to make it available on PDF as well as a guitar profile. Check the link down below to download that. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help my channel. And if you want to subscribe, hit that and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of new video releases. I'll see you all next time.